Alien is a top 10 best horror film of all time and I will fight to the end defending this opinion. Let's get on to the review. How are we doing everybody? This is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we are going to be talking about one of the greatest horror movies of all time. The 1979 classic Alien was directed by Ridley Scott. After watching it in the theaters last month with my girlfriend Maddie for its 2021 re-release, I decided I needed to review it after seeing it for the third time. Ever since the first time I watched it, I've been itching to watch it again because of how fantastic and thrilling this movie is. So without further ado, let's get right into the positive starting with the horror itself. Since being a horror movie, the scare and thrill factor obviously has to be one of the most critical aspects for this movie to work. This passes that bar being one of the scariest and uncomfortable movies I have ever seen. The film puts you into this world of the uncertainty of not knowing what is happening, being in the character's shoes, feeling as if we are going on this journey with them. The suspense and mystery build as the film goes along until we get to the infamous Miss chest burst scene which is one of my favorite scenes of all time. After that the horror ensues beautifully into the film making me so uncomfortable and sitting on the edge of my seat with a hundred level anxiety. It amazes me that 41 and a half years later this movie still manages to scare the bejeebers out of me, making my anxiety disorder higher than it already is. While also being a horror film, it is a science fiction film that is in my top 10 best science fiction films because it feels so sophisticated, smart, and intelligent in this futuristic world that is set up for us. It broke the ground for what you could accomplish for a science fiction film, becoming a significant influence on the classics to come out in the future. It still captures the unknown of the scientific world that feels like I'm watching real scientists at work discovering a new form of life and not a stupid cheesy movie that many science fiction films can have. The writing is also fantastic and has this mysterious story going on where the film throws you in without explaining what's happening, what kind of world we live in, etc. which adds to the suspense and thrills we get later on. It is a perfect way of storytelling in which the film is prolonged on the first few viewings but each watch becomes faster and feels perfectly paced and the rest of the film goes on. The story is also great as it is simple and straight to the point. A crew is dealing with an alien that comes on board and they have to stop it. They take this simplistic idea and expand that into a more complicated, mature, and scientific way that leaves you wanting more as the film goes on. The film is one of those classic movies that slowly builds throughout the runtime to the point where all hell breaks loose. It is this non-stop building to a perfect climax. The story has been copied and emulated into future movies, which showed how influential this movie really is. This is also one of the cleanest and aesthetically beautiful looking films I've ever seen. The 4K Ultra HD remaster looks so vastly clear, cleaning up the film's darker parts that make this film look even better. It looks brand new on this transfer, which shows how perfect this movie looks from a 41 year old movie. I love how the film looks when they're in white rooms that look aesthetically pleasing and crisp. Dark filled scenes also look marvelous, especially especially in the third act, which popped off the screen. The directing is outstanding in creating the perfect shot composition. All of the shots are framed in such a detailed and sophisticated way, especially how they reveal the alien's look, which is film school material. I love how the camera slowly moves throughout the scenery, creating that extra suspense and thrills that leave you guessing at times what you're about to see. This also creates some fantastic scary scenes, especially the one in the tunnel that scares the living daylights out of me every time I watch it. The editing is simply perfect in every way possible. It is blended together into a seamless way that you don't even notice it. It is like a perfectly stitched blanket that your grandma would have made you if she was good at sewing. This also creates great and perfect action scenes to tell what was happening in those scenes. The production design is one of the best I've ever seen put together in a film with almost the whole movie being inside a spaceship which all looks so tremendous in every way possible. As the film goes on, the crew moves all over the ship doing all sorts of things. The movie has to convince us this is all part of this one ship and not many sets put together. I literally had no idea how they did it but it is one of the greatest ever put to a screen. The visual effects are also awe-inspiring. Winning the Academy Award for Best Visual Effects is rightfully deserved. It truly does feel like they are in space the whole time when we get to see outside the ship. The scenes on the alien craft are simply mind-blowing with all the disgusting alien effects look so perfect and still equally disturbing 
to this day. They used all practical effects for creating the alien that looks as scary as it did in 1979. It seems so convincingly real, especially in the way Scott uses the camera to capture these scenes. It is so influential in that way. The score is one of my favorites for a horror film that seeps into the uncomfortable feeling this movie creates. It has this mysterious classic Twilight Zone feel if you know what I mean. It is so gorgeous and beautiful to listen to. Jerry Goldsmith composed the score and it is one of the most excellent scores ever. The acting is also fantastic with Sigourney Weaver being the star of the show who will ultimately be the main staple of the franchise being one of my favorite female characters in movie history. She is so badass with taking on the leadership role with being the most intelligent of the group. She is a resourceful and likable character that makes you feel mostly attached to her character even though we don't know much of her backstory. The costume design is also tremendous with having very realistic outfits that all suited the theme and world this movie creates. The film's alien is a man in this massive costume that looks looks a lot more noticeable now with the 4k resolution but that's okay because the movie does a fantastic job hiding this the look of the alien is beyond terrifying that haunts my nightmares on some nights it has the perfect creature design as it only gets better in the next film as for negatives there are none i would have to be too picky and tedious to list all the things i didn't like that ultimately didn't affect my viewing experience i have seen some criticism when it comes to the first 30 minutes of the film being very slow which i can totally understand but I don't think it drags. I think the film takes its time to explore every aspect it needs to that it never ever feels rushed, which I genuinely appreciate from many classic cinema films. Overall, this is a perfect masterpiece with everything you want out of a horror movie and a science fiction film as they blend together so cohesively. The film is one of the scariest movies I've ever seen in my life and that is perfect for watching at midnight with all the lights out. It is exciting thrilling with great acting, production design, makeup, and gets better on each rewatch. I'm giving this film a 10 out of 10. Have you seen Alien? If so, what did you think of the film and what is your ranking of all the Alien films? Let me know down below in the comments section. Before you check out of this video, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you never miss a new fun and exciting video. As always, I will see you all in the next video.